there is a general idea that today's uh, mid-range devices are the equivalent of the flagships of two years ago. So today we're going to be testing the Snapdragon 765 in the ZT Action 11 with the Galaxy Note 9 which has the flagship Snapdragon 845 from 2018. So which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. We have the ZT or the ZT Axon 11 on the left-hand side with the Snapdragon 765G. And of course, that is a one plus one plus six setup. So it's got two high performance cores, Cortex A76, one clocked higher than the other, and then six Cortex A55. Cause on the right-hand side, we have the Galaxy Note 9 with the Snapdragon 845. This is a 2018 premium Premier flagship device. And it of course has got four Cortex A75 cores. So one generation before the cores that you find in the 765G and then four quarters A55 cores and then we'll talk about the GPU differences later when we get to that part of the test and as I've said that I can see yes a slight lead there by the uh, Axion 11 it's the first into the 16 thread test it's interesting that the Galaxy Note 9 has a maximum clock speed of 2.8 gigahertz compared to just 2.4 gigahertz for that one prime core in the Snapdragon 765G so as I'm saying that the Axion 11 is now first into the blur test the first into the mix CPU GPU part of this test run and only now is the Note 9 going into it so um, it's looking pretty good for the Axon 11 right now if you had to choose between buying a Snapdragon 765 phone or a Snapdragon 845 phone from two years ago it looks at the moment let's see what the frame rate is it looks at the moment that I would go with the 765 let's look at the frame rate now what's that going to be on the left hand side 19 frames a second 19 frames a second for the Snapdragon 765G as it's the first in test we're going to see a frame rate now on the right hand side what's that going to be come on what's it going to be 14 frames oh uh, quite a difference there that's not so good for the Galaxy Note 9 as already the Axon 11 is halfway through the UG test and only now the Note 9 is starting UG test but it's, there we go it's just started its run now so that's quite a difference quite a lead now by the Axon but of course we have the Adreno 630 on the right hand side and the Adreno 620 on the left hand side so the Adreno 630 should be the better GPU can it catch up Will it be able to make up any ground against the Axon 11 at this point as it's already into the Unreal test, but so now is the Note 9 into the Unreal test. The question is, can it really, really zip through this forest? It's doing quite well. I think it's doing quite well, but the question is, will it get there before? Will it get to the end before the Axon 11 and the Snapdragon 765G? No, it won't. Two minutes, 15 seconds on the left-hand side. And there we go. Two minutes, 18.1 on the right. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. Okay, so as we saw there, a win for the uh, Snapdragon 765G in the uh, Axon 11, two minutes, 15 seconds on the nose, and then uh, 3.1 seconds later came in the Galaxy Note 9 with two minutes, 18.1. But when you look at the CPU time, we can see that it's 54.4 versus 1 minute uh, 0.6 seconds. So that is a 6.2 second advantage to the Axion 11. So it looks like that uh, Cortex A76 cores, two of them clocks at a lower clock speed than four Cortex A75 cores actually gives a better CPU performance. Then we get to the mixed CPU GPU 29.5 versus 34.2. One again, a 4.6 difference, uh, second difference there in favor of the Axon 11. But when we get to the GPU, everything changed around. We've got the Adreno 630 in the Galaxy Note 9, the Adreno 620 in the Axon 11. As you can see, 51 seconds for the Axon in the Snapdragon 765G, whereas it's 43.3 seconds for the Snapdragon 845 with the better GPU. But it wasn't quite enough to bring back those losses in the CPU and mix time. So overall, the Axion one with 2 minutes 15.1. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speedtest Geo. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, we've got a whole community here. Why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.